A Nevada judge was back to work Thursday after being injured in an attack by a defendant in a felony battery case who launched himself over the judge's bench and landed atop her when it became clear that he was going to be sentenced to prison. The 30-year-old defendant had to be wrestled away from the judge in a violent scene Wednesday that was captured by courtroom video in Las Vegas. A court official on Thursday credited the judge's law clerk for quickly pulling the defendant off the judge. Court officials say the judge was injured and a courtroom marshal was hospitalized with a gash on his forehead and a dislocated shoulder. Diobra Delone Redden refused Thursday to be brought from jail for another court appearance. The lawyer who was with him on Wednesday declined Thursday to comment. Was released. He received hand abrasions. We commend the heroic acts of Judge Holtus' staff, law enforcement, and all others who subdued the defendant. This is a very unique situation that, as far as I know, has never happened before with somebody supermanning over a, a judicial bench. Since yesterday, um, we met with our security contractor to bring in additional security personnel to support court courtroom coverage. We've notified Clark County management that there's a need for additional marshal positions in our high-risk calendars. We're already working with Clark County Real Property Management to evaluate courtrooms and identify if there are any necessary improvements. So we're already on top of doing everything we can to make it uh, make this as safe as possible for everyone. Generally, we have one mar one marshal in a court. Sometimes uh, there are two. Sometimes there are more. But generally, there's one. Uh, I don't know what. Could have prevented this. I mean, I, I think that we are looking at every opportunity we can to make things better. Uh, I, I don't know if a, an additional marshal could have prevented it or not, but if we could get additional marshals in the courtroom, we think that that would uh, always be better for the, the court, for the, the staff we have here, and for the public. His new charges, he's going to be. Uh, being charged with battery on a protected person resulting in substantial bodily harm, batter, uh, two other counts of battery on a protected person, and one count of simple battery. So Judge Holtis is going to uh, go forward with the sentencing hearing on, I believe it's the, the 8th at 9.30. Uh, now I don't know exactly what the sentence that she planned on handing down was, but I anticipate that it'll be the same as... Uh, what she gives on the eighth.